Hey everyone, Tanex here. So for today, I'll be talking about my C0 child or Tartaglia. His skills, talents, constellations, stats, artifacts, weapons, team composition or playstyle. I'll show you a damage showcase and also to answer whether or not if he's worth pull or not. Let's go. So let's talk first about his skill set. Child is actually quite unique in the Genshin Impact world where it's the only hyper carry currently able to change his playstyle from a physical range carry into a hydro damage melee carry. This is due to his skill of Foul Legacy Raging Tide, which actually has a decent scaling overall and it also revolves, his playstyle also mainly revolves around his charge attack. His burst damage have have an obliteration, also has decent scaling, but uh, his range burst actually quite uh, falls off as compared to his melee burst. It also has a decent cooldown of 15 seconds, but a bit higher um, energy cost of 60, especially if you don't have a battery character or another hydro character that actually provides. Uh, Energy particles for child, he'll have a bit of a hard time keeping up his burst, or at least that is my experience. Next, we'll be talking about his constellations, but however, for my child, I don't have any constellations whatsoever. But I do think that his C1 is one of his more important constellations, and also C6. Since C1 actually reduces the cooldown of his skill by 20%, and his C6 could infinitely put you on his melee stats. However, the others are okay, but are not as important as C1 or C6, where you can actually see a decent power spike within the character. Now for my stats, uh, these are my stats. I have a 52% crit rate, with 158% crit damage, 128% energy recharge, and 90% hydro damage bonus. So let's talk about this artifact set. There is without the doubt that this best artifact set is the 4 piece Heart of Death. This set is tailor made for child as it not only provides a 15% increase in hydro damage but it also has a great 4 piece set effect where after using an elemental skill, it increases his normal attack and charge attack damage by 30% for 15 seconds. So for the artifact main stat and, sub and substats, We'll want to focus mainly on crit damage and crit rate. Don't mind it too much if you don't have uh, the perfect set, it's already hard enough as it is. To form the correct artifact set, the correct main stat, and the correct sub stat. So don't be too hard on yourself, okay? Uh, we'll get better items soon. So for the feather, also crit rate, crit damage, with a bit of energy recharge, is something I don't really mind. Since child does have a tendency to have a problem generating his own energy particles, at least that is for me. I also have this uh, terrible sense of Eon, which only has a petty 13.2% crit damage, but it does have the attack percent main stat, which is what we want. My off piece is the higher damage one scub, crit rate, crit damage, but I rolled a lot into death. And lastly, I'm also using a Hit damage circlet, which is mm, yeah, my sub stats, my sub stats are terrible, but I don't mind. It's already hard enough as it is to get the uh, correct artifact, artifact with the correct main stat, and the sub stats are just a great bonus if you ever have it. I opted to use crit damage since my crit rate is decent enough, but however, if you have a low crit rate then I suggest you use a crit damage one. For weapon, my child actually is using an R1 Viridus attack. I opted to use this since I don't have a 5 star bow. But if you do have a 5 star bow, the best one would probably be a Skyward Harp. Next would probably be a Amos bow. But for us, uh, who are just light spenders or battle pass players, uh, Viridus attack is quite awesome since it provides a lot of crit rate and a decent enough base attack also its passive is really good in um, for crowd controlling mobs the little the little swirly thing it's great trust me so for team composition i'm actually using my child 
with Albedo and Zongli for that Geo Supremacy buff and Venti for his crowd control. Uh, the reason why I'm using Albedo is that he's actually just a Geo official, which is he's so great off field support. He provides the offensive support and Zongli provides the defensive support. Also, a, a good amount of burst damage. Venti is just there for energy particle regeneration and crowd control. However, uh, if you don't have any of these other 5 star characters, you can actually use a more budget friendly one with Child, with Xing Shou, Fischl, and Beidou. This is what a lot of other content creators call the Fireworks Child or Firecracker Child, wherein uh, his melee stat actually enables him to attack really fast, right? And Fischl's, especially when Fischl is C6, Oz will attack actively with the on-field character which goes well with child it synergizes so well especially also if you have a c2 baido which uh, uh ups her ult to give you a shield and also bounces the arc lightning to two other enemies xing Shil is there for energy particle regeneration and overall it's just a great character however if you don't have xing Shil, you could also just opt to change it to maybe barbara if you're not used to not having a um, healer, or you can also change it to maybe Diona for a freeze comp and also a super conduct comp. But I personally prefer Ursaglia with Ching Chill, Fischl, and Baido. First, I'll show you a uh, damage showcase with my usual team of Child, Albedo, Zombie, and Betty. Of course, we'll go to extreme. So Got the shield first, G official, watch them die. What I like about uh, Alvedo's compared to official is that the Isotoma burst actually hits so hard. 4k, that's not even critting, but when it crits, it could go up to 8 to 12k. Depends on the enemy. And whenever I'm out of uh, energy, I can just go to Venti, use the range first, drop it, and just let them die. Let's go to our next team. I'll be featuring the other team comp with Xing Shil, Fischl, and Baido. Let's start. Shop the idea. First is Xing Shil, Fischl, Baido, and then Child. There's continuous uh, electro damage. That's really fast. It's really great for small mobs and for any enemy, however, as long as there are at least two of them. This would be great if I just built my Beido even just a little bit. Currently, my Beido is uh, level 20. Talents not leveled up, skills not leveled up. After damage, this is so much fun to use. <laughs> I might map max this afterwards. So what are my final thoughts on Child at C0? 
I think he's great actually. A uh, great skill set, great uh, character play style, great burst. However, his only caveat is that his elemental skill takes such a long time to cool down. That's why you need to somewhat build around him with another uh, sub DPS. And once you get that uh, fixed, or you have a solution for that, by putting somebody else, like for example, a well built Beido, a well built Song Li, then your child should be fine. And of course, he's also very aesthetically pleasing. I mean, look at him. Look at that cutie boy. And also, if you enjoyed this video and found it informative, a like and a subscribe is greatly appreciated. And also, any comments on how I should improve my content is greatly and much appreciated as well. Thank you.